Welcome back to Comics and Crossbows, where we talk comics and we talk crossbows. And uh, today we're going to be going over Heroes Reborn, number one. I picked this up yesterday. And uh, full disclosure, I did this video uh, yesterday and I tried doing it as just a blind review. Just my first look uh, going into it. Um, I was very confused because I, uh, this is a, an event that's going on. So there's a, a, it looks like it's a reboot or an alternate world type of thing. So I was confused just going in and I said just to, you know what, the video wasn't coming out great. Uh, it was just me just kind of like, well, so just saying like, I really don't know what's, <laughs> what this is about. So, you know what, I read the, I, I read the whole thing, uh, which, I mean, it's not that much, but, um. I read the whole thing and uh, okay now I can actually you know talk about uh, what I like about the story. Uh, I did I did like the art, uh, so we're gonna be looking at this, uh, just going over it. And uh, so that's that's the comics part of comics and crossbows. So uh, for crossbows, I thought I'd just switch it up a little bit. Usually I just show uh, kindness that the uh, crossbow that I have. Um, that's one of the crossbows that I have. I, I decided this time to show uh, Mercy, so here it is. So I got Mercy right here, and this is a mini uh, micro crossbow. And I did add this little <laughs> thing, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, so, so yeah, so this is probably going to be a crossbow that I will be able to fire. <laughs> I can't fire the other ones in here, but... Uh, I also have uh, love, and I did record uh, uh, myself just uh, firing this off, which is just a, I mean, it's not that impressive. It's just, it's just a cool little, cool little thing. Uh, so I will just put that video uh, in there. I'll splice it in here. All right, so here is Heroes Reborn, number one. This is the variant edition. Uh, I did pick this up at limited editions it's one of the uh, local comic book shops here in my area i picked up this issue uh because when i was uh there at the comic book shop uh yesterday or yeah yesterday i saw these cards there and i asked uh, i asked about them uh, i was i was gonna buy buy a pack and the the guy said that they're giving these away uh you know, to promote Heroes Reborn number one. So when people pick this up, they'll get these cards. And apparently, like, it's at the store's discretion. So if, I guess if you buy other stuff, uh, you might get these, uh, depending on your comic book shop. Uh, but anyway, so so that's why I bought uh, Heroes Reborn. Um, I don't really follow the events going on. Um, just because there, there's like so much you have to buy. Like you have to buy stories from other titles <laughs> just to understand a couple of things. So, uh, uh, but you know what? I, I like cards. <laughs> uh, I decided to pick it up. At, at least it'll be a fun first look. See if it's something that uh, you would be in, uh, into and you know, wanting to check it out. And uh, you know, we'll see. I'm going to go through these cards first, um, and I already read the the comic, and I was reading uh, the back, so I was just trying to figure out who these people are. Um, so this is Nighthawk, he's a superhero from Marvel, and in the comic, I, right away, before, just before I even read uh, any information, uh, it's like, it's a mashup, uh, I figured it's a mashup of Batman, I, I didn't know what the other mashup was, but, uh, now that I've read the comic, okay, so this is a prestige of Batman, this is supposed to be Batman for, uh, this world, so, so here he is, Nighthawk, so, um, I mean, right off, uh, these are supposed to be the Justice League, so that's, I guess, supposed to be a prestige of Superman. So this is Superman. Right off, I, I didn't see any difference. I thought this was Wonder Woman. 
Um, so in the original uh, video, I was calling her Wonder Woman, and then I um, I remembered well, Wonder Woman isn't DC; she's Marvel. I was getting a lot of DC vibes, a lot of Justice League vibes. So, uh, so, I, so just to read uh, read the comic <laughs> and actually give a more of an insight. So yeah, so these are just uh, Marvel's versions of DC. They're supposed to be like they replace the Avengers in in this uh, storyline. So, so Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash. Uh, it's pretty much who these people are. <laughs> so, all right. So Nighthawk. Um, yeah, I mean. The design's not that bad. I mean, it is just, it's Batman, but it has a, a some well, new take on the design, on the costume. So, so I like it. I mean, I, I like this. Uh, I, I guess this is a hawk emblem. So I guess it's a night hawk. I mean, it's Batman and uh, what's his name? Batman and Hawkman. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, that's why I thought these were mashups. Um, so he's a uh, Nighthawk. Real name. Uh, let's get a close up here. There we go. Real name Kyle Richmond. Group affiliation Squadron, Squadron Supreme of America. So Justice League of America. Okay. Intelligence 5, Strength 3, three Speed 2, Fighting Ability 6. So let's see. So apparently they had their first um, appearance in Avengers 10, November 2018. So they're not new, I guess. I haven't been following, so all right. Anyways, uh, trained himself to be uh, to the peak of physical per perfection to avenge his murdered family. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Sounds familiar. Did you know? Nighthawk was was orphaned at a young age and used his inheritance to develop skills and equipment as a superhero. Hmm. Gee, I wonder where they got that from. Okay. Yeah, that's not blatant. Superhero Hyperion, which I like the name. Uh, the suit design is pretty cool. The the color scheme. Hyperion, real name, Mark Milton. Group affiliation, Squadron Supreme of America. Okay, let's just go into the uh, origin. Last survivor of a destroyed planet. First appearance, Avengers 10. Okay. Did you know Hyperion imprisons his mightiest foes in the extra-dimensional realm called the Negative Zone? Okay, Marvel. Blur. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. In in Smallville, Superman was called Blur. The Blur. So, anyways. <laughs> uh, real name Stanley Stewart. Origin. Gain superhuman speed and reflexes after exposure in a mysterious gas cloud. First appearance of injuries. Okay. Did you know to keep his racing mind occupied? Uh, Brewer works several different jobs, sometimes all at once. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Taking a selfie, I guess. <laughs> okay, let me. All right. Dr. Spectrum, so Green Lantern. It actually took me a while to realize who, who, who it was. <laughs> but, uh, so not as blatant. <laughs> Brew named Colonel Joseph Ledger came into position of his mystic power prism during a spacewalk. 
Dr. Spectrum single-handedly wiped out the Cree accusers and the Black Novus. Okay. Some actual cool facts that doesn't sound like it's a, a direct ripoff. <laughs> so, Power Princess. <laughs> okay. Uh, the design is that, that that the costume design is it's not that bad. It's 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 all right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Zarda Shelton, last survivor of the island Utopia at a Cree colony. Power Princess uses a power dampener in her civilian career as a mixed martial arts fighter. So yeah, so she holds back her strength, which is something that Wonder Woman does do. It was revealed. Uh, somewhere in the comics that she actually holds back uh, her her strength that she's actually stronger than Superman. So okay, so when I first saw this, I was like, ah, okay, I think I know uh, what this is gonna be. <laughs> My um, fist doesn't come out in this issue, but I think I know why this world is the way it is. Anyways, uh. Mephisto, supervillain. This confused me. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so, extra dimension of demon lord. The deal with the devil. Johnny Blaze made to become Ghost Rider was with Mephisto. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, also the demon divorce. Uh, Spider-Man. So, yeah. Okay, so this was interesting. Uh, so apparently, Blade in this world is a, is considered a supervillain. So, and the mother was bitten by a vampire during childbirth. Okay. All right, cool. So I mean, it's Blade's it's Blade's origin. Captain America, supervillain. I never thought I'd have a Captain America card where he's labeled as a supervillain. Um, and it's you know it's just his origin. Captain America vanished in the last days of World War Two. Did you know? Yeah, I did. Thor, supervillain. Okay. Son of Asgardian, All Father, Odin. Thor is a figure of mythological legends. Yes, I did know that. <laughs> Blade, Tony Stark. Uh, not sure what this is. Oh, it's a plane. <laughs> um, hmm, I don't know who this is. Might be the. There's a kid in, in this comic in the beginning that kind of looks like him, but. It's just there for two pages. Uh, okay. Welcome to a world where Tony Stark never built an Iron Man armor, where Thor is a hard living atheist. How does that work? He's a he's a god. <laughs> okay. Where Can Carol Danvers never became a captain. All right. She wasn't always a captain. And she did just fine as Miss Marvel, so, okay. Anyways, where Wakanda is dismissed as a myth. And where Captain America was never found in the ice. Heroes Reborn, number one, May 2021. Whatever happened to Earth's smart, mightiest heroes, we will find out. Alright, so let's get into this issue. So as I was looking at these cards, I saw that some of them kind of matched up. So I put them all together, and I guess they create one big picture. So, <laughs> so hey, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, so I just switched views just so you can get a better look at this. And uh, also, I had already recorded this part, but my you know phone did something. <laughs> it didn't save, so I'm doing this all over again. Anyways, uh, 
All right, let's just get into it. All right, uh, so there are spoilers. I am going to be just revealing things because uh, I don't know. All right, so right off, we go into this, uh, you know, this guy on a bike, which I um, don't know who this guy is, but he is in this card here. So that guy there in the corner. So that kind of looks like him. So I'm not sure if it's him, but, you know. Uh, but, yeah, he's there. So, you know, there's these, uh, which I was confused at first. I thought he was narrating. And then, you know, you, you find out he's not narrating. It's uh, this guy here. So, again, spoilers. I'm going to reveal some things. Uh, this is Blade. And uh, apparently Coulson is President of the United States. And he remembers. He remembers... Uh, who the Avengers are. So this story starts off that this world is already in place. He just kind of wakes up. And he talks about here in these uh, narration boxes. Or he wakes up. And notice things are different. So he's kind of like investigating all this. Right now he's just being told uh, from his perspective. And you, know, you see these cool shots here. I actually I do like this. You got uh, Dr. Doom here fighting. And uh, so there are some mashups, which I, I think are cool. Uh, I do like him. So he, he apparently Dr. Doom finds the Crimson Gem the uh, uh, from the Temple of uh, Sidorak. And he uses to turn into Dr. Juggernaut. <laughs> so I think that's a pretty cool design. Kind of looks like a Hulkbuster armor, but you know, I think that's a pretty cool concept. What if Doctor Doom found the the gem and became Doctor Juggernaut? So you get this cool uh, scene here of Doctor Juggernaut fighting Hyperion. Victor, you never learn, do you? All right, so, you know, I was going through the cards. I was uh, going through the comic. Uh, I don't remember. I might have already said this in the cards, but just in case I didn't. These are prestige characters of the Justice League of America. Uh the Squadron Supreme. So this is Hyperion. This is the uh, uh, Superman parody or Superman, uh, you know, version. Some pretty cool fight scenes. I mean, I thought this was cool. I like this. <laughs> uh, you got Kid Goggles here. What the heck, Kid Captain Goggles? What's going on? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so this is uh, the Superman character, and uh, I think it's it's done well. I mean, the origin is from right away on the card. It's, you know, just from another world, and he just comes here. Uh, so it's similar. Uh, they kind of threw me off. This wasn't that bad, uh, but the ones that kind of threw me off when I was first uh, going through this um, and just doing a, a blind review... I forgot what comic I was reading because for a moment I thought I was reading DC. Because uh, you got Batman right here, Nighthawk, which I, I, I like the design of his costume. You just can't see it very well here. But, uh, all right, I mean, look, that looks like a Nightwing or the Batwing. <laughs> no, not, not Nightwing. That looks like the Batwing up here. There's some Batarangs. <laughs> Right there. Uh, these look like bats at first. I thought these were bats, but it's actually a uh, symbiote goo. It's a, uh, well, you see in the next page, but you got a bat silhouette here. So, okay, Marvel. <laughs> see what you're doing. 
And yeah, so uh, out, out, this is Black Skull. I'm not sure if this is Eddie Brock or uh, the Red Skull or our new character, but uh, apparently it's a mashup of Venom and the Red Skull, so it's Black Skull. I'm guessing these are like hi like Hydra agents. We got Doctor Spectrum here, which I I I do like the design. I I do like uh, this character from what is shown here. Um, it doesn't seem to be a direct ripoff of or a a blatant ripoff of Green Lantern. There are some aspects of of it, of course, but. Uh, mm, not bad here. Uh, I like this shot. It's kind of flying off. You see the light streaks here. You got Tony Stark. So you know Tony Stark never, you know, never needed, never, never had shrapnel stuck in his heart. So you know he didn't make the Iron Man suit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, so far what they're doing with uh, Dr. Spectrum, I think it's alright. Uh, the ones I thought were just a big old blatant ripoff, or you're, they weren't even hiding it, is uh, Nighthawk and, uh, what's her name, Power Princess? <laughs> Princess. Let me go through the cards here. Yeah, Power Princess. Um, so in this world, you know, he's kind of... Blade is just kind of finding out information. So, you know, apparently in this world, something was changed. I mean, just by, by looking at the cards. Uh, and when I put the cards together, you know, it, uh, it had Mephisto right there in the middle. So, I mean, someone made a deal with someone. And something got changed, so apparently uh, one thing was changed, just one important thing that affects all the rest. And you think he's going to say, well, Steve Rogers was never found, it was never unfrozen, so he was never, never formed the Avengers. So that is part of it, but that's not the most important thing that uh, Blade is talking about. Uh, and this where... It just gets a little heavy-handed, just kind of like a hyping, uh, <laughs> pun intended, hyping up Hyperion and the uh, Scott Squadron Supreme. But here's the one thing: that thing is the Squadron Supreme of America, because the Squadron was here, the Avengers never came to be, and that absence rippled out into all the corners of the globe. Okay, well, how did they come to be? That's I guess that will be explained in other issues. So, you know, just talk a little bit, you know, about the Avengers. Wanda never became good. Uh, she not only re remained evil, uh, something happened to her brother, so she kind of just, like, took on a, a part of his name, so she's now the Silver Witch. Got blur here, the flash uh, uh, version, I guess. And there, and there was a, a flash version already, and there's actually a couple of them. Uh, Quicksilver, he's a speedster, uh, which I think is like one of the best speedsters in this world. But there was also the wizard, which uh, I'm not sure if uh, this is a version of the wizard, but I think the wizard became the blur or blur. Uh, which at first, I mean, I, I thought it was like, okay, now they're taking the name Blur from Smallville? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's a lot of history there. But yeah, here's Power Princess. She's playing Algog. And, okay. Wonder Woman. I mean, seriously, change something up, Marvel. I thought this is a cool scene. You got the <laughs> these fists here. <laughs> 
It's kind of goofy, but all right, because <laughs> it works. And uh, Thanos, at least Thanos is it's the same. I know a monster when I see one. So there's Thanos. There's Blade, he went to go find Thor. Apparently Thor is a... I don't know, he's self-loathing or something. <laughs> oh look, he's in, uh, he's in Norway. So... Thor is a uh, drunk, apparently. All right here we got uh, Nighthawk, fighting Hydra agents or whatever they're called. And uh, they know of Blade, so I guess, but Blade doesn't doesn't remember this. So in this version, Blade is already established. There's some cool scenes here. Some. Uh, you know, I, I like the layouts, I, I like like the panels, I think these are very well done. I like this perspective of uh, Nighthawk here, kind of like from almost a warm, worm's eye view. And you got a blade here, you got the bloody blade. <laughs> seriously, like, seriously guys. <laughs> Who are you fooling? <laughs> Coulson is president. Uh, Hyperion is still at the White House fighting Dr. Juggernaut. This is a cool page, a, a cool uh, spread. I like this. <laughs> I might just uh, just pin this on the wall as a poster. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to spoil everything. So Thor gets his hammer, I guess. He finds it. I don't know how. It's just there. But you don't have to read it. It just kind of like appears. Okay. And then uh, Blade finds Captain America. In ice. All right. Okay, now let's go into this, uh, this these uh, concepts. Uh, I got a complaint here because uh, I had heard of this. I heard, you know, Miles Morales and Nova and uh, Miss Marvel, you know, they got some new costumes, new names. They're kind of like doing away with, from what I heard, they're doing away with legacies. There's no legacy characters, so they're their own heroes. Um, okay, well, Miles Morales is now Falcon. So, like, uh, in this world, Falcon isn't, uh, here? <laughs> so, <laughs> alright. And, uh, Kid Spectrum looks a lot like Dr. Light's sidekick, so I thought, I thought there weren't legacy characters. And Miss Marvel is Power Girl. No, she's a girl power. Sorry. I do like what the, um, you know, Wolverine's pretty much the same. Um, I do like here that the claws, you can see where the claws go up on his arm. So he's, hold on, let me see if I can get this better. Let me adjust. All right, uh, it's better. You can see there where you, the the claws go up on his arm. So that was a nice touch, and you got some of the wires and and stuff from the uh, Weapon X program kind of sticking out on his back. I don't know why they would still be there. I mean, but all right. And uh, Final Flight. I guess it's not Alpha Flight. It's Final Flight. I like uh, their their Canadian character. I, I'm not sure what his name is. Uh, it might be different in, in this version. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I don't, I, and here's Aurora. So. So here's all this stuff here. Things to come. So this looks pretty interesting. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep following this. It does look pretty cool for some, some of the stuff. I mean, they, they might make a mess of things. I'm not sure, but, uh. Oh, is that Groot? <laughs> Rocket. Uh, so I, I might just wait for uh, <laughs> when it's all collected together or something. Uh, but yeah, uh, the other side stories you gotta got by. Alright, so that was Heroes Reborn. Now let's go into... Well, I pretty much said my thoughts on this. Um, I like the concept. I just hope it it reverts back or if it's an alternate world. But Blade remembering the Avengers as... Um, and also, I mean, Mephisto right here. Okay, someone made a deal with Mephisto. Um... I wouldn't be surprised if it was like, you know, Hyperion. Because <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, this new team is there. Everyone knows about them, how great they are. But this is a cool cover. I like this cover. But yeah, but Blade, I mean, he remembers. So he's kind of like going around trying to see who's still, who's still avenging. And, uh, I mean, he is kind of like saying how great this team is, so I don't know. <laughs> and so in this world, uh, all the Avengers are villains. Or they're perceived as villains. So. Alright. Um, okay, now let's, uh, let's uh, fire off some crossbows. Alright, so there's one crossbow I can fire off in here, so it's... Uh, let go. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I'd already filmed myself firing up uh, this one that I call Love because it's red. And I just thought it would be cool. Love. Mercy. <laughs> so I got Mercy here all set up. Well, I did until this fell. So let me... Uh, Aim at my closet door over here. Oh! <laughs> uh, there we go. Alright, so he, again, here's Mercy. And I got Love over here. Love and Mercy. <laughs> so these are micro crossbows that I made. Um, I also made these other two. Uh, which I've shown these on the Truckle Creative Cast. So I named this one Kindness because uh, actually these are I'm sending to Anna. I um, thought she she liked these, so she said uh, you should write Kindness on one of them. So like okay, kind. So now she has her own Kindness, she, and she she has a, a crossbow like the one I do, uh, and this is Compassion. So these are hers. Uh, I'll put them here, and I'll remember to mail those off. Uh, but, so yeah, I mean, my final thoughts, I mean, I pr said pretty much what uh, what I thought about this. Uh, there's stuff I like, there's stuff that I think, uh, you know, it, it does sound interesting. They do get a little bit of he heavy handed just saying how, how great uh, uh, Squadron Supreme is. So it just makes me think, okay, something's going to happen with, with them. Which I guess it's the point. Uh, they do get a little bit uh, political. Um, not that much. Not, it's not too too bad. Uh, hopefully it stays light uh, like that. Uh, well, uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to be keep following this. Maybe I'll just wait for the trade paperback. Uh, but yeah. I mean, hey, are you going to check it out? Uh, does this interest you? 
uh, check out your local comic book shop so that's it for comics and crossbows. Check out the next video. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little uh, mailbag video after this in a few days. Uh, and But the video after that uh, for this series, Comics and Crossbows, I'm going to be going over Aaron Guzman's uh, comic that he sent in the mail. And you'll see a little bit about uh, that in the mailbag video. But I got it here. It's a uh, year 2019. Uh, an Inktober story so uh, so yeah so this, I'm gonna be going over this in the next comics in crossbows <laughs> so thanks for watching uh, you got any ideas any suggestions uh, stuff you want me to cover comics crossbows uh, you know other weapons that won't get me demonetized <laughs> uh, leave them in the comments below uh, leave a like if you're not subscribed please subscribe uh, thanks for watching. Stay creative. Make comics. Not excuses. You know, and uh, we'll see you next time.